Hello? Hi. Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, but you sound like you're getting yeah, cut off. Hmm. You sound like you're further than the bell. Like <laughs> oh, uh, okay. I am. I mean, Tony, but I shouldn't sound so, so far away. It's getting a little better now. Okay. Let me know. Sometimes I have um, I have a, a laptop, but sometimes I get better connection. I don't know what's the reason on my iPad better. So, um, so let me share really quick. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, good. Nice to meet you. I'm a little bit nervous. Nice to see you. Oh, don't be nervous at all. And don't be nervous at all. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking a look at the specific competencies and kind of thinking about the way that the test makers create the exam and what document they use. So we're going to start from that. And it's just the science portion, right? Yes, yeah, I got everything else. You know what I okay. noticed, uh, Stephanie? Mm -hmm. Every time I go, I was so scared about math. Like, you don't imagine. I mm -hmm. met with some teachers. I... I I, I got help. I barely passed it. I was um, really scared about social studies. I'm from Illinois. So Texas mm -hmm. history to me, I mean, Sam Houston, who the hell is Sam Houston? You know, I know. It's yeah. another, like, even us here, we, like, don't care about who he is, but supposedly we need to know. So right? so then I focused a lot on that. And um, I didn't focus a lot on science because of my... My major is I have a bachelor's in of science in psych of science psychology. So I thought I was good with science, but mm. then it gets to some questions and I'm like, what the hell? I, I've not heard about this in years. So what type of questioning did it ask you about English language learners or what types of questioning? Nothing about ELLs. Let no. me can I share my screen and show you what they give Absolutely. Giving? Yeah, absolutely. Let me make sure that you can. Let me look at the settings and make sure that you can share. Hold on one second. Um, uh, okay, and now you'll be able to share. And that way you can tell me, um, share my desktop. That way you can tell me, um, what is this? I used to do Google Classroom. Okay, can you see this? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so they're giving me certified teacher to um this is what I used mm -hmm. and I passed um social studies. Okay, so this is right now I after I mean I, I gotta take this 40 minute exam and this mm -hmm. is the exam that I don't pass because um uh, for example if I it won't give me the option. Let me see. They give you like this like mini exams. Mm -hmm. Um, you see by competency, they give you mini exams and after you pay us three or four, they give you to that other one. Okay. Big, and um, right now, this is what I'm using to study. And uh, let me see if I can log out and then log back in and it won't take me to the big test. Um, and, um, and, and there's no like time limit. Like here's the social studies. This is what I used. I am the purchase. Okay. So I did have to call. I paid. And they gave me um, doctors also that helped me out so that um, I wouldn't have to pay all that, you know. I should say what you said. Okay, so um, I guess they restarted it or something because I passed this one. So look, this is how the exam mode goes. And um, you see, they give you the competencies. And um, let's say I go here, I proceed and they build a quiz. And I start taking it. So I studied this much, like I already know this by heart. So I know this a bar graph. I check answer. Okay. Oh no, I got, never mind. That's a table. And then this is okay for a while because I pass it or I know it by heart after doing it so much. Right. So I get to the forty minute exams. I don't pass those. Okay. Um, well, but I well, how about we try doing one and we take a look at the questions and we look at it that way together and see maybe what what is incorrect in your in your rationale oh god I, it's like it's some is this stuff i've never like i haven't let me get out of here um i don't want oh, god. oh that was that 
I don't want to like, um, I think what I got to do, because what I do with social studies, I, why can't I see you? Well, you can see me, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what I did with social studies was like, I basically, every question they gave me, um, I literally, if I didn't know it, because it's not like the other tutoring um, program. It, it doesn't give you like the reading for you to learn it. Right. You, know, you got to know the answer or, or not. So okay. um, I did. You see, you want, should we take this one? Yeah, we can take this one and go through the questions and then sort of like see what was the faulty reasoning and the ones that um, are incorrect. And this one won't tell me if it's right or wrong. Okay. okay. So, to the end. Okay. So here we go. Oh, God, don't be nervous. <laughs> don't be nervous. <laughs> you got it. You got it. I do this every day and then I'm like, okay, I should know this by now, but here we go. Of it. It's still loading, right? It's doing its thing. Okay. Okay. Some green all day. So um, I believe that is a producer, no? You see, that's where I get I get it out and I Google it. Mm -hmm. So, because um, I, I, I see the between. I would imagine so. I I would imagine that it that it is a producer of like oxygen and like other byproducts. Um, I wouldn't say it was a consumer or a decomposer. Decomposers are more like fungus, you know, like fungi. Or they're like the largest body of decomposers. So I would say that, that is a pretty solid guess if you um, aren't so sure. Right here, green algae equals producer. Okay. And you see, I was off by three questions last time. Sarah looked at some pond water with a microscope. She used a low power objective lens to look at some green algae. The picture mm -hmm. below shows what Sarah saw through the microscope. If Sarah switched the lens from low power to high power, mm -hmm. what would you see in the field of view? A lot more cell than with low power view, but in lesser detail? I don't think so, because it's we're talking mm -hmm. about high power. Right. I would say the oh, you you I, continue going. <laughs> I was gonna give you my cells. I think fewer because you're like zooming in, but I think it's right. a Right? Exactly. That's what I would think. So you would see less cells, but the cells that you did see would be in far greater detail. Okay. So that's what I usually put. Uh, sixth grade science teachers is setting up for an investigation. All of the following are examples of how the teachers should communicate safety concerns for any investigation except. Okay. So review the relevant safety issues to students prior to all investigations. Would be the safety guidelines and relevant safety information only at the beginning of the year. Oh, that's definitely it. That's definitely it. That's not it. That's except like, that like, one. <laughs> <laughs> no, every time it's it's sort of everything. You gotta remind them constantly and be reviewing and reteaching, especially when it comes to safety. Yes, and then um, we have to have posters and you know all that Absolutely. stuff. Absolutely. Yes. Prior to every lab investigation, the teacher should be the blank for the activity or experiment. Safety precautions. Okay, so okay, so she should we review the labels on the chemicals? You see, there's always two because obviously not the emergency equipment. Okay, prior to every lab investigation, she review it's something that they look at. Either the so if they're reviewing it, they're not just looking at it, they're reviewing it, I'm assuming with students. So like, what would you need to review prior to an activity or an experiment? We just spoke about it two seconds safety ago. Safety precautions, right? Yes. Yes. I'm going to just say precautions. I'm going to mark the number just to make sure. Um, what number is this? I'm not sure. I can't see. I bet. Four. Four out of 45. There we go. They're working in small groups to replicate erosion of soil by the movement of water. 
Each group is given a small tray with a hole in the bottom of the hole one end. A container of soil, a container of fresh water, and a bucket to catch the wastewater. The students were instructed to place two inches of soil on the tray. They then place one end of the tray on the blocks and pour the water as shown in the diagram. So they're pouring water here, over mm -hmm. here. Okay. This, okay. Their task was to measure the amount of soil collected at the bottom of the tray. Each group was asked to pose the results in the class chart. The results of the experiment showed a great amount of variance between the groups and the quantity of soil collected at the bottom of the tray. So which of the following best explains the differences between the groups and the amount of soil collected at the bottom of the tray in this experiment? Mm -hmm. So what I'm guessing, I mean, they told her two, they said two inches of soil. They right. never said how much water. I'm going to go back up. Let me see. Let me see two place two inches of soil on the tray, and then they place one end of the tray. The water as shown in the diagram. Uh-huh, okay, I see. The soils may vary greatly by the porosity causing a difference in erosion rates. I don't think so right now. Some of the soil so mixtures- was, So they each were given a container of fresh water. So maybe they were all each given the same amount. The same amount, okay. So then um, some of the soil mixtures may have contained large rocks, most likely causing the erosion rates to vary. Some may vary greatly in their porosity, causing a difference in the erosion rate porosity. Like the porousness, that whether it's poor, so like if, if a rock is really like compacted hard together, then it doesn't liquefy, it doesn't create as much sediment. And if it's more porous, it'll like break apart and create more sediment quickly. What about, maybe it's A. Soils may vary. And then he says, because the directions did not specify the volume of water or rate in which the students were to pour the water, right. the variance in the force of the water between groups most likely caused a difference in the results. That's what I thought. Okay. Variance in water temperature probably affected the erosion rates along the size of the rocks in the soil. But now that you told me what porosity means, now I'm wondering if it's A, B or D. Oh my God, hold on. Elimination process. Yeah, A and B seem like maybe because even the large rocks, that's what, that's what it means to be not porous. Like they're not that porous. They're hard like, you know, compact pieces of rocks together and that would um you know skew the erosion rates i and don't so similar. look at that they always do that so mm -hmm. i think b sounds good some of the soil mixtures may have contained large rocks most likely causing the erosion rates to bury um because it says here let me look up the the like definite <laughs> definition of porosity for you but because i it's bothering me and i want like the actual the percentage of void space in a rock defined as a ratio of the volume of the voids or pore space divided by the total volume yeah the void so like it's like pores in your skin you know the more pores a rock has the more water can get in there and break it apart and then it becomes sediment so um maybe a I would say A, like, because if it, it, that's what I would say. And if yeah. I were to now be. Now that I know what porosity means, because I didn't. Okay. So let's, I mean, this is, I mean, I can always do this again. Okay. Okay. So here's again, the same thingy with the same explanation. And okay. then it says, why do you believe Ms. Shang chose to design a lesson where students would conduct an experiment where the results would vary greatly between groups? And then I think here, so I would think A or B. So, um, or most, most likely B, Ms. Chung wanted students to notice the variance in results and develop explanations for the variance and analyze errors in the experimental design. Thoughts? Well, um, as far as why do you believe Ms. Chung chose to design a lesson where students would conduct an experiment? Um, 
I don't think that there were necessarily errors in the design. Like, I, I don't know. I say A and B look really great. I would definitely say that the other two are not, not the correct answer choice. She wanted them to notice the variance and results and develop explanations for the variance. I don't think that she wanted them to do that. That wasn't part of the plan. Like, oh, let's just the difference and blah, 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 blah. Different erosion, the different soils and erosion rates. I would say A, you know, right. yeah. Have you utilized the the manual that comes that came from the state? No, what manual is that? The just the EC through six manual. Um, like I have a book EC through six somewhere. Um, it's um after this maybe you can tell me where to access For it. For sure, absolutely. Because before this, I had um tutor to to something they gave me. Okay. And then the, me that this was better okay. and um, I've been doing this and I passed social studies with this but I didn't pass this and right. what I like I mean I don't like reading a lot so I like that it is in a test form but then I feel like okay I need I need to read a little to know the answers you know because right. I've not seen this since I was a child yeah yeah, well, definitely. And some of it, I mean, I just like looked at porosity for the first time. I just like used my, you know, decoding skills to figure out what it is. But and then it's like I, I think like my like my family thought I was stupid or something until I, I had each one of them sit down with me. I'm like, you try it. They're yeah, like, no, not our own. these exams are made to be difficult. They, they're critical reading exams. So on top of like um, you know, assessing whether you understand your content, they also are critical reading exams. So they're yeah. tricky on purpose. So if I don't do it this time, I don't know, I might change career paths. No, you can do it. You can do it. I give up. <laughs> Students assign an investigation for their peers to test how friction affects the distance a toy car can travel down a ramp. Which of the following explains the next step to be completed by their classmates? So, so we want next after, um, wait. Students design an investigation for their peers to test friction mm -hmm. and how it affects the distance a toy car can travel down a ramp. So what would be the next step to be completed by their classmates? By their classmates. Okay, so what would the classmate have to do? Give the investigation to their classmates and have them upgrade. No, so definitely that not that because they're already we're already talking about what they're doing have classmates read the investigation and turn it into the teacher so just complete a self-check and turn it into the teacher without giving it to their classmates Adios. have their classmate complete the investigation as written and provide constructive feedback Okay, I see. So look, in the beginning, we have to be careful with the language. So it, it's the students are dividing an investigation for their peers. So this is like specifically for them. After they've done that, what would be the next step for the classmates? So, um, so we're already, so it's definitely not A, right? Because I yeah. mean, we know they already have this, right? right? That sounds stupid. Have a, read their investigation and turn into the teacher. Yeah. Sounds stupid. Um, Plus, it's a task that is supposed to be completed no. by their classmates. Remember, it's just something that the no. classmate is going to do. Uh, it's probably D because it's an investigation. I would think so. I would think that they complete the investigation and they provide feedback. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because... Yes, they want to trick you here. Okay. Okay, two questions that follow. Great. Okay, sixth graders in Ms. Miller's science class have been learning about an instrument used to measure acceleration forces, the accelerometer at the end of class. When the students had just finished experimenting with the accelerometers they built in class, the teacher asked them as homework assignment to go to the internet to learn more and write a short paragraph listing one application of the accelerometer to their everyday lives. At the start of the next class, the students reported back the results of the research. Which of the following results represents a correct understanding of the concept taught in the class? Like, seriously, I forgot. I know. 
So they're asking about the the accelerometers, right? So that that they built in class. They want to know um, that they understood what that even is. So one of these would illustrate or select all that apply us this. Okay, so all of them that are accelerometers. Okay, let me see. Okay, so hell no. Right and now, look right at now. the time left. It's uh, 25 minutes. This is the, the problem. Accelerometer. Okay. Measures proper acceleration in its own instantaneous rest frame. I mean, I if I, I acceleration, I would say that E is what what it is because if we're talking about like movement or acceleration, that one is the only one that like really has to do with like acceleration, but like maybe counting her steps as she accelerates throughout the day. But apart from that, um, and that's just going off of a guess based on what I know of acceleration yeah, and of, of what type of tool might might gauge acceleration. Yeah, this will give us a report of what I need to work on and okay. then we'll see from there. Okay. Which of the following instrument measures the amount of liquid precipitation over a certain length of time? Oh, don't tell me. You always hear about it on the weather. It's a rain, This is it this one? Rain gauge, liquid precipitation. Um, liquid, oh, I looked it up before. Um, barometer tells you the humidity, I think. Rain gauge, um, also known as udometer, is an instrument used by meteorologists together and measure the amount of liquid precipitation. So yes. There you one. go. Okay, rain gauge. Yeah, and barometers are used to um, measure the atmospheric pressure, so. Okay. That's how they want to trick us. Okay, many families have decided to switch to renewable energy resources. Bless you. What is an advantage of using renewable energy resources over non-renewable energy? Renewable. See, right? Mm -hmm. um, can replenish. That is correct. That's correct. In what ways does science organize the world? What a question. <laughs> By classifying things in chunking disciplines? This stupid question. It is like, a ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculous question. And so I would say you're correct simply because it's talking about how it organizes the world. Yeah, and so that keyword tells me that it organizes by classifying and chunking. So I would say that's correct. Yeah, that's so stupid. <laughs> I know. Hibernation and migration are quite different. However, they have a few come on, not come on, commonalities. All of the following are similarities between migration and hibernation, except. So for both you, they need to adapt. Right. Both conditions seem to happen when there is a shortage of food. They hibernate. Mm -hmm. And they migrate, that's correct. correct. Both happen to find better breeding. I don't think so because I mean, they- No, you don't go to sleep to find a, like a breeding buddy. Um, <laughs> you need to be awake for that. Yeah, so you see, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Depending on the temperature, right? So let's see. Yeah, yes. they, yeah they that's need to be awake to do that. Uh, to do that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. How does the use of fertilizer demonstrate that systems can be described in terms of time, energy, and mass? A. Let me see. 
I would say A as well. Let's find out. Ms. Garza's teacher, Ms. Garza teacher, Mrs. Garza teachers, he, you see that's wrong, teaches third grade and has four special needs students in her first year of science class. She's beginning a unit on the solar system. All of the following are teaching strategies that will most likely support the special needs students in her class, except. All right, okay, so you have a keyword, special needs. Definitely okay. is something they, they would use. Mm -hmm. Not reading independently. No. Scaffolding, grouping. And not only disabilities, you know, grouping um, all kids. And yeah. Yeah, I would say A, because we're doing, we're, we're focusing on special needs. Definitely not um, special needs, right? Right. Okay. Which one did you put? B. Oh, that's right. The mnemonic device, right? Or no? No, it says all of them would help. Except oh, except, that's right. That's right. You're right. You're right. Except the independent. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Before beginning a unit on electrical circuits, I love Okay, for beginning a unit, before beginning a unit. To the, and create a human circuit? No, because we're talking about no. electric. Have students independently read a chapter on electrical circuits and complete a chapter quiz? I think it's C. Let me see. I don't think it's B. Take notes while I'm watching a video. How are you going to check? know how much? No, you that you can't check prior knowledge. But like if you have, yeah, you could check if you had them draw. You could also check if you if you had them in groups. But I don't know what a human circuit is. Like, I don't even know what that is. So but they're talking about electrical circuits. I mean, that's right. so the human circuit is like I did electrical circuits um, last year and I um, actually did a real electrical circuit. My dad helped me <laughs> set it up, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, with the whole electricity thing but it's so cool yeah. um, so i would give them the 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 little thingy and the, if i would know by exit ticket or do now like if they labeled it correctly open circuit closed circuit absolutely you know, if they did yeah absolutely so well, i would say yeah because uh the battery you know the switch and if they don't know it then you know yeah. okay this is where i need to start i'm thinking we'll see students who purchase lunch at school have to make choices about what they would like to eat which of the following is an assignment a teacher can create to help students make informed decision about the food they eat for lunch? So the goal is to help them make informed decisions about food for lunch. So definitely not talk to the principal. Right. Yeah, you know, we started down here. Helps them create a menu of their favorite foods and see if the cafeteria will provide them. Definitely not. No. <laughs> I would <laughs> like to see the cafeteria staff laugh all together. <laughs> Like they're not rude already, okay? Yes. School menu and have a student choose their favorite foods and find the calorie content. I probably a. And okay, let me see. It's A or B. Yeah, because you you want them to make informed decisions, and so that would be A, because you have them looking up the 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 like health content of it, and so that they would be making informed decisions in that way. Yeah, so be like, okay, I like this, and it's healthier. Maybe it's not the best, but it's really good. Right. Okay. <sighs> okay. So as scientific formulates demonstrates. Did it come up on your end? It hasn't come up on my end just yet. Yes, um, let me check. Oh, okay, there it is, there it is, I see it. So when we're using this uh, to answer two questions. Okay. The checklist would be most useful for helping the teacher assess the individual students. Definitely not attitudes. No. Definitely not ability to follow instructions. 
it's a rubric of a type. Um, right. Knowledge of specific saying context. It's not. Um, is it A or is I would say, um, in my opinion, C, because um, they will be going through the process of inquiry through their scientific experiment. And so they'll be like asking the questions, making the hypothesis, doing the variables and going through the process that you have to go through of inquiry for, for an experiment. So I would say that it would be um, assessing their understanding of the process. Yes, it was between those two, I agree. Okay. And not that I'm rushing, I'm trying to get through all. We have 15 minutes here. Oh, Thank no, you. not at all. You, you do it at the time that needs to be done. With regards to this role in the student assessment, this checklist provides information that could best be used by the teacher to assign students with similar interests to work in groups, together in groups, select topics for future science, evaluate the safety of science learning. So probably D, identify skill areas in which students may require additional instruction. Uh, I would say so. Right? Yes. We'll see. A, secure, a sixth grade class is on the third day of a matter unit. The students are asked to complete an experiment on the physical and chemical changes of matter. Each student is to create a data table listing the results of the investigation and write a, a conclusion using their observation and data analysis. Based on the assignment described, which of the following correctly identifies the type of science assessment used by the teacher? Okay. So on the third day, they're gonna complete an experiment and they're gonna create a data table with results of the investigation. Definitely not diagnostic. Mm -mm. Definitely, I think, isn't, it the, isn't this a self-assessment? Um, I would say it is a formative assessment because they're not looking to see how they're not asking themselves, how well did I do this? A self-assessment is like, how well did I do this? How well did I do that? Like, did I do this or that? Um, and formative just as it, did they do this well? Summative takes place after all learning has taken place, like at the very end, of um, like a, this long unit, you have this huge thing and it's a summative. In summation, did they do it correctly? Um, the third day of a matter unit. Okay, I would say it's a formative because uh, it forms instruction. You, you, you test where they are and you see where do we go now. Okay. A first grade class has completed a unit on animal cycles. Which of the following is the most effective way for a teacher to assess a student's understanding of the unit concept? Okay. And diagram of each the goal is assessment. What is the, the most effective way to assess for this um, first grade unit on animal life cycle? Probably A, because we're talking about first graders and right, right. now I'm with can't even write their name. So I probably um, draw and label or, you know, you know, cut mm. out the words and paste it we, right now with the kids who I'm with, you know. I'm I'm, inter I'm an interventionist right now, and um, they want to hire me there, but they're really behind. Oh. Okay, it portrays a simplified model of the solar system right here. Okay, what if the orbits on the same plane? Each planet has a different period of revolution. Also, each planet is a sphere that rotates around an axis to its center, but with a different period of rotation. In this model, the axis of rotation of each planet is perpendicular to the plane of the orbit. What extension or modification could be made to the simplified model of the solar system to explain why the northern hemisphere is colder in January than July? Okay, so what modification could be made to, so what can we, modification can we make to the simple model to explain it? So it's a, it's a tilt. Right. So um, if we're talking about colder, it's probably this tilted away from the sun. Yes, that's correct. Tilted away and towards it during July. Let me see. <clears throat> Which 
Oh, whenever right. the components of the system and the nature of the forces between them have certain properties. So one of the components is much more massive than the others and exerts a force on each other component that is perpendicular to the line connecting their centers. Hold on one second. One of the components is much more massive than the other and exerts a particular force on each of the other components. Probably A. They're not equally massive. Massive. Yeah, no, 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 they're not. They definitely have different masses. They're not close together and they don't repel each other. I don't know, but what's throwing me off on B is that other perpendicular blah, 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 extra stuff. I would say A just because of the extra stuff in B makes me like. Yeah, because, um, uh, yeah, well, well, yeah, we'll see. So there's a position, this, uh, I hate this thing. The graph below shows the motion of an object. Okay. What statement best describes the optics motion? The optics sped up, stay at the same speed, and then slow to the top. The object went up a hill and then down the other side. The object started at rest, sped up, slowed down, and stopped. I don't think it's B. Is it A or C? see stayed at the same speed and then slowed it to a stop because i mean it's obviously I mean, it did go, I mean it did go up because if you look at the position the position does go up it does go up this is a terrible drawing um yeah it does go up and then remains the same then goes down and then stops and then um, down the other side yeah uh, the graph shows the object in motion. Okay. So yeah, so it went up, stayed the same, and then came to a stop. I would say A. Uh, they moved away from the reference point, stopped for a period of time, then moved toward the reference point. Because uh -uh. I don't think it stopped at all. I don't think there was any stoppage, but like definitely slowed down, but remained at the same height, and then went back down. So was it B or D? Position. I, I'm going to guess D. Or what okay. do you think? I have seven minutes and look at. OK, OK, well, let's just stick with that one and we'll move on. I'm yeah. going to write it down just to, I would get, let me see, because I think maybe it's. The following correctly identifies a graph showing constant speed. So constant, is, isn't it B? Yes. So time and distance, yeah, you would have that consistent movement. Okay, so one way that the image um, of what does it represent both physical and chemical changes. So the leaves grow in size, which is a physical change, and the process of photosynthesis rearranges the atoms in water and carbon dioxide, which is a chemical change. The leaves remove carbon. I would say A is correct. Because I mean, they because okay. they do they 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 do grow in size to like. Okay absorb more sunlight and whatnot solid liquid and gas which of the samples is the is the least dense has the fastest motions and the most energy it's obviously c and the gas move fast and bounce no it's c yes students are studying mixtures and solutions i hate this one because okay. they're to me they're all a mixture because they all mix right I would, let me see. The investigator following substances found in the chart below. 
equations. How many of the following are mixtures? So obviously flavored drink mix and water. Mm -hmm. Sand and water to see, you know, what happens to it. Sand and water would be what? A solution or a mixture? Oh, actually, this right here, flavored drink mix and water is a solution, right? Solution. And the others are mixtures. So it's four. Duh. That's why I didn't get it right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the following describes a process by which a closed circuit produces a produces light in a bulb. Okay. So the energy in the battery flows out. No. So the battery sends energy out both ends of the battery, positive and negative, along the wires to the bulb. I think it's B. Okay, the C is wrong. Yes, B. Right. Produce or about to find out. <laughs> Which of the following correctly identifies it? Okay. The, the energy transformation in a closed circuit. Energy transformation, okay. So it's electrical, obviously, then it turns on mm -hmm. the light, which causes chemical and it gives off heat. So mm -hmm. heat? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and then here I'm gonna guess, in science class, students learn that metal can be recycled. However, sorting metal in the trash dump is a huge task that requires engineering. Not all metal is magnetic. So how is this metal separated from the regular trash? Electrifying the trash? Us? Oh, no. <laughs> so stupid. Burning. I know. I know. Um, it's A or C. I would say A, as far as being like the best answer of the two. Electrifying. Okay. It's best if I no, except but one of them. So energy is ability to do work. Ability to move other matter, ability to produce a chemical change, ability to be continually created. Except one of them. Energy is best defined as the ability to produce a chemical change. Okay, yes. Because okay. energy can't be created or extinguished. Is that correct? Yes. I mean, I mean, energy. I'm thinking about work. I'm thinking about movement. Um, we create, it can be created, but I, I mean, it, it can also probably create a chemical change. Let me see. Okay. Um, shall I just do C? Yes. Okay, two minutes. I might have to, how do food webs and other puzzles demonstrate that matter and energy are transferred and conserved. Okay, the law of conservation states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. So the one, it's all of them except the ability to be created. Because we already are energetic beings, we're just like exuding or force on something else. Ability to be created, okay, I just fixed that. So this one I might have to guess because we have two minutes. For sure. I would say D. Okay, let's do that really quick. How is the energy organ? C. Grow, reproduce, heal, and move. That's what we use most of our energy from food from, I believe. All organisms concentrate into the phylum. 
What the heck? Cordata, Cordata. Um, okay. Vertebrae, maybe? Ver I mean, no, that's not Cordata. What the heck is that? It's an what? animal um, of the philium. All Cordata possess five, sino whatever, sino whatevers, or primary at some point in the level doesn't. all have the characteristics of vertebrates? Do they have the same characteristics of vertebrates? Chordatas. Chordatas. It looks like it. I put that. Okay. So here, I'm I thinking... love it. <laughs> okay, each of the, what are two things that animals get from the food that keep them alive? Okay, water and nutrients. Oh, Shit. Oh, chihuahuas, water and nutrients. We almost were going to say that. Okay. okay. But out of 45 questions, mm -hmm. well, we didn't finish it. What question were we at? You see? 20 something, I think. I think. Pregnancy, um, this one, we um, got them all right. Pregnancy, history and nature, we missed two. Well, what are, what are those ones on? Do we. Um, Review answers? Oh, yeah, let's review answers. Oh my God, like do all of them? That's gonna take forever. Right, let me see. So what's okay, the good. Go? Um, should we, is it analytics? Or is it email your score? Mm. So, okay, this is kind okay, of- so on that one, you got all of them right on, on competency one. Okay. Evaluating scientific knowledge, experimental design, evaluating. Doesn't say which one, huh? Uh-uh. Do you want me to go through the whole thing? There, is there a way you can email it to me so I can look at it and then we can make a another um, another session where we can go over the ones that we got wrong? Yeah, let me see. All right. I'll send it to you again. I sent it to me and then uh, it is Sauceda mm -hmm. at Ciencia Learning. Ciencia uh -huh. Learning. Dot com. Are you related to Dr. Zoseda? I am. I'm his daughter. Oh, that's so cool. Yes. No wonder he's charging me, or maybe he's you're, he's paying you. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. <laughs> dot com, right there, right? Somehow I'm getting paid. <laughs> yes, been, that's perfect, like that. Oh my God, I've been through hell and back because um, oh my God, it's horrible. Oh, I just got him. I've been through not with him. Um, but he's been like, um, everyone's helpful, but I literally like, I'm going to stop sharing that here. Let me know if you got it. Cause mine okay. doesn't download it. Yeah, so, um, I did. I got it. I started my ACP with a waiver and everything was going amazing. And, um, they gave me hell at that school and, oh. um, five teachers walked out. I didn't have a mentor. <sighs> Um, I got with the union. I was having panic. I was horrible. And I literally like, doctor, what do I do? Do he's, he's like, Blanca, she's not going to sign off. Um, Blanca quit. Like I couldn't do it. Like I had lost six family members. My daughter was going through an eating disorder last pandemic. Oh my God, yeah. I'm like, doctor, like I'm telling her that my daughter is non-responsive that I need to, to go to the hospital. And she's like, lesson plans are still due. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. Like, I, she got lucky. I didn't swear at her. You were going to have to make that shit up yourself. <laughs> like, no. I was, I'm still, you know, I'm like, you know what? I'm not taking that to the ER. They, they might have to wait. My daughter's first. So yeah. I have recordings. I have so many things to where she she didn't want me to. Um, she wanted to uh, me not to be able to get certified <gasps> because I broke my contract. I cold quit Turkey. Yeah. Um, she said that I was um, purposely... Um, endangering the lives of everyone because i went into work and um i i vomited because uh -huh. you know when you're in your period you yeah vomit. you feel like shit <laughs> yeah. 
okay, so I vomited um, and um, I ran out of the class and then came back and the custodian. And two days later, um, there was a kid whose brother had COVID, yet the kid was still in my class. And then they, they said that supposedly I was the one that because I vomited and I, I didn't put it into check into work. I'm like, it asks about diarrhea. It asks about headache. It asks about fever. It does not say vomit. And yeah. I mean, I, that, that totally was related to my period. Yeah, um, absolutely. I got with a union, even though I was not pretty certified, and they got on her. They like take this off, take this off, take this off, and then she retali retaliated with that write up. So I'm like this bitch. So yeah. I just, I just couldn't. And yeah. I was in, in like hyperventilating, crying. Doctor, what do I do? Doctor, I don't know what to do. I mean, and he's been helping me so much because I know Gene and all of them. They probably would not have let me like. He's like tell tells him unlock the test, unlock the test, do it because they want me to do all these things, but they. Like I'm on a time frame, like yeah, absolutely. Like, this yeah, job is yours. this job is yours. You need to um, pass this, this, and this, and it's yours. Um, so right now, I mean, he has faith in me, and I hope. I mean, I'm trying to have faith in myself. I never yes, thought have faith in yourself. You can do it. You can. You will do I, it this next time, and your next experience will be so much better. I'm so sorry that you had that experience. It really. It really is difficult when you have a bad, um, you know. Like I have post-traumatic stress disorder now. I met you from, like, I, I mean, it is HISD, and they're offering a job HISD. Como dicen, mejor bueno por conocido que malo por conocer. Like, mm -hmm. ya sé cómo trabajan, ya sé lo que te piden, ya sé yeah. que no te diga, pero yeah. si lo paso el 2 de noviembre, unos días después ya tengo un trabajo ahí en esa escuela, en otra. Yeah, absolutely. I'll finish it and I'll get into a nicer school, better paying school district next year or something, but at least I'll finish the school year with something, you know, to pay me during winter break. And yeah, absolutely. So um, that's my worries right now. And um, well, I don't be worry, we're going to get it. We're going to get it this time around. And I'm going to take a look at your, at your test and look at, um, at some of it. I also have the, the Texas. Now, how many times have you taken it in? Like, like. Literally, this is my last time. Oh, here it breaks it down in the email. Okay, good. Out of competencies, like it tells you what I need to work on. But then again, I we didn't get to finish it, so you know I got a zero percent on reproduction and the mechanis mechanisms of her heredity, heredity, adaptation, and evolution. We didn't get to that. And in mm. organisms and the environment, out of three questions, I only got one right. And we answered three of them? Yes, we did. Now, so, does it let you look at the questions again? At least not in the report. Not unless I go through again, and that way, next time I see you, I'm sure I'm in that point, because I need to pass a few to get yes. there. And if I do pass it, I mean, I'll send it over to you, and um, that way we can see, because it always changes. So let's say I pass this one. Right. It change. It's just going to keep getting more and more complicated, I guess. Right. Because they tell me they won't guarantee I pass until I get a score of 290. Um, minimum passing score is 240. I pass yeah. studies with 242. <laughs> I pass math with 240. Yeah. Hey, a win is a win. <laughs> And it's like, oh my God, oh my God. Like seriously, like this was this is my last time though. Right. So I asked Dr. What's next if I don't pass it. There's like where there's a Texas EC2C three three something, like a different version. Mm -hmm. Which I would have to take everything all over again. And I, I don't have a mind. You want to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I don't want you to have to do that either. So what we'll do is you you do your work on your end. I'm gonna take a look at this. And when would you like to have another session next week? You tell me, I mean, um, okay, my mom is getting a very important procedure on Tuesday. Okay, well, we could do, you wanna do Thursday? Okay, yeah, let's do Thursday. Um, last, I, I told you I had an interview and I couldn't yesterday, but Thursdays are good. Uh, Thursdays at six? Sure, sure, Thursday at six, let me write you down. I'll keep, um, I'll keep doing this and then I, I can keep sending you my, like my, um, my results during the week, if I, whenever yes, I get absolutely. To just email them to me and I'll take a look at it. Okay. And then um, we'll go from there. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my okay. God. okay. Well, it's so nice to meet you and don't worry. We're going to get it done this time. That way you'll be done with it and you won't have to worry about it and you'll be able to finish this year out and then move to wherever you like. 
Yeah, and then it's like crazy because I signed up and it's like, oh my God, usually I have to pay a hundred and some almost two hundred dollars. It was fifty nine dollars and only science and fifty five minutes. I'm like, what? It's not a five hour long task. So yeah. that's right. <laughs> I mean, I've been going to skipping everything. I've been skipping everything except the two I haven't passed. Yeah. So I, mind, I cannot I'm like, no, uh uh-uh. uh. You can't even entertain the other ones. Yeah. So uh uh-uh. yeah. so right now it's like okay, just this number say adios. Yes. Well we'll get it. I was hoping, you know, because of lack of teachers. Yeah. to round it up three points. I know it. They're ridiculous. But the thing is, is that crazy for jobs. It's just a money making scheme. The state makes it more hard than it needs to be. Like honestly, and and there's a lot of also just waiting for me to take the five so that they can get their payments. Yes. Like six hundred dollars. Yes, it is. Maybe I'm hoping. Let yeah. It, let it be. You let will. It be. You will. You will. All righty. Well, thank you so much, Stephanie. Then um. Thank you. Be uh, talking Thursday. Yes, si, ma'am. Dios quiere. Si algo le, Dios no quiera, something comes up with my mom, and you know, Dios no quiere something. Just let me know, and we'll 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 rearrange it. Yes. Um. Because it is a heart procedure, pero yeah. primero Dios todo estar bien, and um, I'll see you Thursday. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Tell you that I say thank you. Yes, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.